Here's my back two days after surgery. Right there, he's pointing at the rib that they took out, crushed up, and became my new vertebrae. The incision down the middle of my spine is where I have 12 titanium screws, two rods, a basket that goes around my spinal cord, and a plate. Now this looks like it may be extremely painful, but to be honest, it felt so good to have them take those staples out of my back. Here I'm trying to learn how to sit up again. I'm trying to roll over and do a simple task, something as simple as sitting up. I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to have to relearn how to do something as simple as sitting up. Here I am with my youngest son. He is throwing me the ball, trying to strengthen my balance, and um, he was a big part of my recovery. I think this clip speaks for itself. Without my family, I don't know how I would have done it. Um, here's one of those days that you're trying just as hard as you can. Uh, I was pushing my body, trying to push my body further than it wanted to go. And on this particular day, my body won. And I don't like it so much when I feel like I've been defeated. And on this day, I felt defeated. I was frustrated. And I didn't know what else I could possibly do. Here I am, tall kneeling. Uh, there's my therapist behind me, Mr. Scott Gillespie. I worked with Scott for going on six years now. And in the beginning, during, during this footage that you're watching, I would see Scott every day of the week uh, for hours at a time. And... Um, Without Scott, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, and I am extremely grateful. There aren't words to express the gratitude I have for this man. Here I am uh, with the ball, trying to strengthen my core, my back, my glutes, and as I'm trying to go forward, obviously I lose my balance. Scott catches me. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very taxing, very, very difficult to try to make your body do something. It, it just flat doesn't know how to do anymore. Um, in this particular clip, I am just exhausted. I'm tired. I've pushed as hard as I can push. And I decide, you know, I'm going to take a little break. And I roll over onto Scotty's lap. This was a monumental day. Uh... This is the first time that I was able to get to a stand by myself with a single point cane. And of course, as always, there's Scotty making sure that I don't fall and hurt myself. Um, but together we we did things that I, I was told I wouldn't do, told I'd never do. It has been my experience throughout this trial that the one thing greater than fear is hope. With just a little bit of hope, we can accomplish great things.